If you missed last night's Coyotes Islanders game, I think this goal summarizes things fairly well. Clayton Keller finds himself wide open and Schmaltz feeds him down low for the one timer to score. But if we watch this one again, this puck wasn't anywhere close to going in. Instead, it deflects right off of Romanov's nether regions, so to speak, and goes in. Now, watching this, there was a moment where they seemingly show the replay in the arena and the entire crowd appears to let out a collective groan. 12th of the season. Just brutal. Now, it's unrelated to this game, so I'll stick it at the end of the video, but stick around if you want a good laugh on a similar nut shot back in 96. Maybe as we need. But anyway, the 29th ranked Coyotes came into this one having won just three of their last 10. So while the Islanders also haven't been too hot as of late, this was a game they really wanted. And as such, they came out scoring fast, just two minutes in. Bailey and Nelson put in some good work behind the Arizona net, and with a pretty bounce pass off the board, Sebastian Ajo puts home his third of the year. Then, very similar to the first goal, the Islanders work it behind the Arizona net again and get it to the blue line for Salo. Now, Barzell would get credit for this one as he tipped this one right in front, just barely squeaking one by Valmelka, and they would go up two to nothing. Now, late in the first, just as the power play expires for the Coyotes, Goss Despair just kind of puts one on net from deep and would score his seventh, and while it went down as an unassisted goal, O'Brien and McBain do a real nice job getting in front of the net here, drawing their defenders with them, and with all that traffic in front, Sorokin had no no chance. Into the second now and nearing the halfway point of the game, while the Coyotes do a nice job working the puck here, the Islanders get their first unlucky bounce as Keller puts one on net to score after deflecting not once but twice as this one goes off Parise and then Scott Mayfield skate to tie the game up at two apiece. Before they could even announce the goal, the Coyotes would score again, taking the lead. The Islanders turn the puck over here on the clearing attempt and Arizona pounces. Brown with a real pretty little no-look pass to Bukestad for the one-timer and just like that, it's 3-2. to two. However, closing in on the end of the second, the Coyotes would return the favor, turning the puck over on a clearing attempt. Dobson would put his on net and would score his 10th of the year to tie it up. And you can see here, Gostisper kicks out his right leg in an attempt to block the shot, but instead it deflects into his own net, and once again, this game is tied up. So, to start the third, the Coyotes do a nice job getting into the Islanders' zone here. Schmaltz gets it over to Chikrin, Chikrin to Boyd, and Travis Boyd taking it right to the net, regains the lead for the Coyotes as Sorokin just can't seem to get on this one, and Boyd would get it on his second attempt. After a bit of a scrap between Mayfield and O'Brien, which YouTube won't let me show, it takes us right back to the Clayton Keller nutshot goal. Now, Keller does a great job in this one, bringing the puck into the zone, takes a lap, drops it down to Chikorin, who gets shut down, but meanwhile though, Keller quietly makes his way to the bottom. Schmaltz again feeds him for the one-timer, and Keller, for the second time on the night, gets one off an Islander's defenseman. This one just happened to be right off of his, you know. But anyway, down by two, the Islanders would pull their goalie and get one late in the third, making things interesting. This one came on a missed shot that led to a very favorable bounce off the board straight to Bolivier, who put it home. And while they had plenty of time left at this point, the Islanders just couldn't square things up late and the Coyotes come home with a dub. Now, for those still watching, I promised a good laugh at the end of the video, and I had actually not seen this clip until today, but thought this call by Dale Talon and Pat Foley back in 1996 was absolute gold so i'll leave this with you guys and thank you so much for watching he like it hit the knee i said he got it in a bad spot <laughs> not his knee maybe his weenie What passing on that sequence, though, huh, Dale? <laughs>